So magandang uh, tanghali po. Uh, good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome to the Pasig City Training on E-Mobility. Uh, this is being delivered on behalf of uh, or within the Solutions Plus project, which is a uh, global uh, e-mobility project that is being supported by the European Commission as a H2020 project, Horizon 2020 project, and we're doing this as part of a uh, string of training activities globally. So a few weeks before, before we were uh, uh, we conducted an Asia-wide training on e-mobility, and, and those were followed by uh, city-level trainings for Kathmandu as well as in Hanoi. So today we would be talking um, mostly about the, the planning for EV charging, and we are going to be uh, blessed by a distinguished panel of speakers. I'll be going through um, them, uh, the, their bios later. But uh, just to start, uh, just a few basic information about the session. So first, uh, please note that the uh, session is being recorded. The recording and the presentations will be made available afterwards. The session is also being live streamed from the Clean Air, Clean Air Asia Facebook page. Um, I've uh, put the uh, the link po in the chat box natin. If you can also share it uh, to, to your colleagues who might be interested in watching, that would be great. Um, and uh, secondly, we have muted everyone by default, so the session you know won't be uh, disrupted accidentally. Um, but when you talk later during the discussions, just click on the microphone icon. And um, if you encounter any challenges on that, please send us a message. Um, you can also choose to have your camera on. Um, but however, just to minimize disruptions, kindly switch them off during the presentations and in, in the meantime. And we can have the Q&A later during, and then you can switch it back on. Um, if you have questions, Paul, please submit them via the, uh, the chat box. Or um, we also encourage um, um, this session to be uh, interactive. So if you want to talk, uh, you can raise your hand and uh, we can unmute you or you can unmute yourself. So um, we would have dedicated time for uh, discussions later. Um, but yeah, um, if, if you do have uh, questions within, you know, during the presentation, you can chat them um, in the chat box. Um, for also for, for um, um, sorry, can you go back, please? Sorry. Um, so yeah, the naming convention po natin mas makakatulong sa amin if you can also put the organization name after your name. Uh, ganyan lang po, ano? And then again, please feel free to ask uh, questions. The the session is uh, we we have um, several distinguished uh, international speakers today. Um, but yeah, please. Uh, Please feel free if you want to, you know, post questions later. If you're Filipino, Taglish, uh, yeah, it would be great. Um, most important to us ngayon yung ano, interaction din. So next slide, please. <clears throat> ah, okay. So just to briefly introduce myself, my name is Alvin Mihi. I work for the Hupital Institute and we're part of the uh, Solutions Plus project, um, which is uh, aiming to accelerate the uptake of e-mobility globally. And the project is working with uh, 10 uh, demonstration cities globally in Asia. Uh, Pasig is a key city that we are working with. Um, next slide, please. Okay, just to give you an outlook. Um, so the first day for, uh, again, this is being uh, done as part of the Pasig City um, trainings for the Solutions Plus. We have talked about the operation and maintenance of EVs in the first day. And yesterday we had um, a close look at the different policy tools um, towards accelerating e-mobility while balancing uh, uh, priority goals in terms of safety and access. And today we would be talking about the planning for EV uh, charging. And uh, tomorrow, uh, which would be the last day, we will be talking about the e-mobility transition at the city level, roles, and applications. Um, next slide, please. Um, so again, today, uh, it's all about EV charging, which is a key pillar for um, the uptake of e-mobility. Um, usually, po ang discussions um, at the level no, ng, ng mga developing countries and cities, mostly right now, is still being concentrated on the uh, ele electric vehicle side of things. But we also need to recognize the, um, the importance 
or the prerequisite of uh, EV charging and EV charging infrastructure policies as well as regulations. So today we would be um, talking about uh, these concepts and um, we have a distinguished panel of um, uh, speakers today. Uh, we would first go through um, uh, the Philippine case um, with Ms. Dang Terante of Global Electric Transport or GET um, in terms of ensuring safe charging um, based on their experiences uh, on the ground. Um, next uh, presenter, we would have Vittorio Ravello from uh, CRF who will be talking about the technical prerequisites and considerations for EV charging. And then we'll go later um, to the charging types and standards in the Philippine settings. Doc Manny Biona will be talking about that. Um, we have uh, Dr. Chu Rei Cheng from the National Ken uh, Kung University would be talking about experience in Taiwan, and uh, Nuwong Sulakuk, uh, Dr. Nuwong is uh, also from uh, uh, Thailand. No? From, he would be talking about the, the role of governments and EV charging development uh, in, in Thailand. So if you see, um, we just switch lang po kasi yung, ano natin, yung presentations natin with Doc Manny and Ms. Dang because of uh, scheduling conflict, but supposedly the technical presentations will be upfront and then the experiences um, uh, later on, but we uh, we accommodated the the need for the change in schedules. Um, so yes, I guess um, before we start the presentations, po, uh, quick survey lang sa atin, sa atin lahat. If you can just go to slido.com, if you can use the um, another uh, browser window or kahit sa cellphone po gumagana naman yan. If you go to slido.com and uh, input the code. Uh, as you see in the screen, 815-058. Um, to, to answer this question, this is a uh, word cloud question. Um, Mag-type lang po kayo ng, ng keywords na naiisip nyo. When you hear the word or the phrase electric vehicle charging, what are the key challenges that come to mind when you hear the phrase electric vehicle charging? Um, we would uh, give you maybe a minute to do so, um, just to get a feel of um, the concepts that you're thinking of, and also for our um, uh, speakers who are already um, joining us now, to you know to, to give you know give them a better idea of uh, what is the the thinking behind the uh, the challenges. Essentially, bakit tayo na dito ngayon? natin yeah. So we have a lack of charging facilities, um, challenges regarding location, charging um, challenges regarding standards, infrastructure, accessibility, compatibility is very important, interoperability, no? Um, yes, compatibility is uh, now being highlighted. Digipa will give you a couple more seconds or maybe a minute or so. Uh, it's very interesting to see the uh, the insights now. And lucky in terms of compatibility, in terms of uh, infrastructure. And lumalabas, uh, iba pa, budget requirements, costs, um, safety. Yeah, very good. Uh, yeah, accessibility, infrastructure, and compatibility. Um, yeah, definitely these were some of the key um, challenges that uh, we actually uh, took into consideration. And uh, if you can see the uh, the key guide questions that were um, developed, uh, co-developed also with our uh, colleagues from Cleaner Asia, from uh, the Pasig, uh, uh, Pasig Transport, CTDMO, um, in terms of... Um, designing the, the program for today. So maraming maraming salamat po. It's a very um, comprehensive list that's uh, coming up here. Uh, so yeah, compatibility, accessibility, infrastructure, and uh, a lot of uh, insights in terms of the budget, the cost, and um, other issues on, on safety, uh, locations, and uh, yeah, um, these are the kinds of things that we would definitely uh, talk about today. So, maraming salamat po sa inyong participation. Um, siguro without uh, further ado, I, uh, we can now go through the second slide. Salamat po for the, for the slide. We'll take note of the results as well in terms of documenting. Maraming salamat.